today i'm starting the new topic here cross applications cross applications on the other day you were telling about idox sir correct so we are discussing the idox and other things here now during this week uh, we start doing so many things here i'll give very good notes on this idox and the cross applications make yourself comfortable Uh, yes sir i could not get that one at all that fellow is not answering my call at all uh, yeah Anyway, sir, whatever you have the queries, any time, not only now, any time, you can uh, mail it to me, or you can have separate discussion on the topic at all. Okay, if it is required, we we'll spend some time surely on the subject. I am always ready. Yeah, I will go to one. Correct. That okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Surely, I will take any. Correct, correct. Correct, correct. I have a student rapo from almost ten years back. Also, the people will call and ask the questions to me. There is nothing wrong in uh, such type of things. It is all the subject goes on every time. We should go with the subject. Sure. Yes, sir. I will, uh, if they are possible, that today I, if I get that person uh, any details, I will uh, forward it to you surely. Okay. Uh, if there is any chance of server access also, I will try, sir. Okay. Should sure. and today we start with this cross applications SAP technologies for data transfer. So far we have seen LSMW the tool for data transfer, LSMW it is a tool for data transfer. We have seen BDC, BDC that is a method for data transfer. Now we are seeing CA cross applications. This is technology for data transfer. More bigger term technologies for data transfer. So, this is the most biggest thing out of all the data transfer methods. There are three technologies used here ALE, application linking enabling, RFC remote function call EDI electronic data interchange three technologies are available here and we discuss IDOCs intermediate documents the best book for reference is SAP ALE RFC EDI technologist Arvin Nagpal e publication
Today we are learning about ALE. Uh, this book is there, but uh, not any soft copy, sir. Okay. It's a very excellent book on the technologies. If you have any chance, you can buy that book. Linking, enabling. I am giving excellent notes on this subject. Even the book is not there, you can read the notes and get the subject. Okay. So, what is this ALE technology now? We are going to learn today, starting from today. In every technology, we have a sender, we have a receiver. Sender who is sending the data, receiver is receiving the data. So, both the tech people are in the SAP only. Sender is in SAP, receiver is also SAP. And sender is using the IDOCS here to send the data from the sender to the receiver. The receiver is receiving the IDOC. This technology of sending and receiving using the IDOCS is known as ALE technology. So, IDOCS. ALE means it is a distributed scenario. Distributed scenario. It it is a technology, SAP technology for data transfer within SAP. SAP that is R by three system to R by three system. using IDOCS intermediate documents. What is this IDOCS and how this technology is using the IDOCS? So the process which you are doing here is business document business document we say is converted to an IDOC form. IDOC is a container where you are placing the data all your data from hundreds and multiples of tables is placed in a container called IDOC and this IDOC is being sent to the sender to the receiver end. In a container you are placing the data and sending to the receiver end. This is again processing the IDOC into the business document. Here the sender side process is known as outbound process and this process is called inbound process here what is an outbound process means the process of converting business document into idoc that is intermediate document document is known as outbound process inbound process the process of converting idoc into business document is known as inbound process so most of the time in this technology we are using this IDOCS everybody talks about one word in the early technology that is IDOC what is this IDOC I should know perfectly here IDOC intermediate documents IDOC is a container is a container 
to hold the data during distribution process process what is this container how it is holding the data we see now this container is having three divisions control record the second data record and the third status record status record these are the three divisions of the idoc here control record contains who is the sender of the idoc receiver of the idoc what is the port information information and it is also having the message type what is a message type means message type specifies what type of data is going to be distributed distributed using the idoc so suppose you are distributing customer information there is a predefined message type for customer debmas suppose vendor information you are sending creamas these are all predefined by the sap material information mat mas like this so many message types are defined by the sap purchase orders orders like this a message type is going to tell us what you are sending in a idoc this is a type of information information and message type ports are created on either side of the distribution process i should create ports on both sides then only i can distribute the idocs on either side of the distribution process process there are around 200 tcos used in this early technology you can list all those things presently we are learning this technology with a example to do this process of early technology i am having the sender info information the receiver information i am creating this information first to create one example of the early technology i should have complete details of this sender and the receiver the sender user name i am giving here sap user and password for the sender india 123 and the language english the client of the sender is 800 and now we are creating one logical system logical system on the sender side 800 and giving the name as ls 800 i am giving 1 2 3 and the year the receiver information is like this he is having the username hey month and password i have to create this thing okay password say welcome welcome 1 2 3 the language english client within the same client we never transfer we go with the other client 0 0 0 here also i am creating logical system logical system is the name to identify the system ls always give the logical system name in capital letters 0 0 hem this i am giving pha that is better pha so this is funny system this is hemant system 
logical system is the name to identify the system name given to identify the sender and receiver system receiver systems so using basis rights i should have authorization okay as a basis basis authorization create user hemant okay i am creating a username hemant now in the 00 client sir this is not in our regular client 800 so in the 00 i have here sap user sap star not sap user sap star and india 123 this is a administrator rights for logging on to 00 okay i have logged on to 00 as an administrator basis authorization and then creating the user hemant go to t code su01 to create user i am going to su01 here to create the user here i am creating the username hemant the username is hemant user create we are creating this user now and the last name i am giving hemant last name hemant and now log on data click on this one see that this fax number is 0 otherwise warning will be shown so just remove the fax number and click on the log on data now and give the initial password i am giving india 123 india 123 is the initial password given now log on data log on data initial password password india 123 repeat password same password i am repeating india 123 click on the profiles here here the profiles are important the profiles i am giving sap new sap all this is authorization for the aba people profiles click on profiles you sap all sap new save the settings this user hemant is now created let us test the user now once you save this user system log off test the user user hemant in 00 client change the password password as whatever you have given here 
this user i am creating welcome 123 a month so welcome 123 is a new password sir welcome 123 india 123 is now changed to welcome 123 when you are logging on to the first time to the system with the Heyman user, it will ask to change the password. So Heyman and the password is first one is India123. And once you log on, it will ask to change the password. The new password for the first time when you are entering, it is asking to change the password. You give here India123. Here also India one to three. Continue. Sorry, not India. Welcome. C O M E one two three. W E L C O M E one two three. W E L C O M E one two three. W E L C O M E one two three. So it has logged on with the welcome 123 for the 00, zero client hey month okay i am doing the ale process completely tomorrow sir there is power shutdown here next class continuation ale technology okay i am doing the example tomorrow here there is no power right now we'll continue tomorrow okay yes sir thank you very much we meet again tomorrow i will give any information if he has passed about the server okay today bye good day sir bye